Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and we're going to be wrapping up our budget build series on blue white Azorius skies or flyers. Um, so, with this budget build series, what we do is we start off with a deck consisting of all commons that are uncommons, minus the dual lands, and then uh, build a mid budget version with about 10 ish rares, give or take, and then a fully tuned version with unlimited rares and mythics. With this particular archetype, though, my like good version or like as competitive version as I want is actually pretty much a mid-budget version, which is really great. Uh, the main board we added four rares, which I'll walk through with the deck, and the sideboard we added two rares and a mythic. So it's right in line with where we're at: eleven rares total minus the duels. Um, so we're only going to do the two variations for this deck. It's a uh, quite budget version and quite budget conscious. Um, so the deck itself wants to play creatures with flying, and then it has anthem effects to make our team stronger. So in the one drop slot, we have Healer's Hawk, Flying Lifelink, Fairy Miscreant, draws us cards with, in multiples, Siren Storm Tamer protects our good stuff, Spectral Sailor lets us flash it in, and then also draw cards if we do have a lot of mana, keeping a couple spell pierce in as protection main. Rally of the Winds uh, is basically uh, another Anthem effect that we could ambush our opponent. Then we have our two Anthem effects, Favorable Winds, gives all our creatures plus 1-1. One, one. And Empyrean Eagle uh, will give all our other creatures with flying plus 1-1. One, one. Uh, we have Winged Words to draw cards, so basically cost 2 mana in our deck just based on the number of creatures with flying we have. And the cards we're adding into this version, Hanged Executioner. So for 3 mana, you get 2 one, one Spirits with Flying. And it's got built-in removal. For 4 mana, we can Exile Hanged Executioner and Exile Target Creature. So what you can do as well is block a creature, and then Exile Hanged Executioner and Exile another creature. So you can kind of get around that way. Um, and then we have Safara the Sky Bl Sky's Blade. So you're probably wondering how we cast a 7-drop in a... 22 land deck well we don't we basically pay one mana for this creature and tap a bunch of creatures that we have uh, she's a flying lifelink and gives all our other creatures of flying indestructible so it's really good board wipe insurance and it's a big creature on its own um, and then in terms of the sideboard we still have the seal aways we still have the drakes versus mono red the negates versus control we're adding in our our boy Baby Teferi against control, or even just tempo against creatures. And then we have a Johnny, which is good against control, where we can kind of just keep pumping up our creatures. And the ultimate is something they need to respect. We can also return a number of our creatures from the graveyard if need be. And the Conclave Tribunals are basically in our deck, for the most part, a 0 to 1 mana exile effect if we need it. All right. So with this one here, I'm going to run it through ranked. I think it's a good enough deck to play ranked. So we'll play a couple best of three, and depending on how the games go, we'll run the best of one. So just before we get started, a uh, quick favor to ask. If you haven't done so already, if you can hit that subscribe button, bottom right-hand corner. It's a free and easy way to support the channel. Uh, everything I'm doing currently on the channel is out of pocket. Um, so I'm really just looking to reach the minimum thresholds on YouTube subs uh, to get a little bit of... Uh, kickback from uh, Google just to offset some of the cost of buying all the packs to do these build series. So if you can do that, it would be greatly appreciated and cost you absolutely nothing. And that is all you'll hear about those asks. I'm also going to be announcing on my Instagram today a giveaway for subscribers on my YouTube channel. Uh, so we're going to be giving away most likely a Liliana Dreadhorde General. So if you're already sub, don't worry. I'm going to be look randomly choosing from one of my subs. But if you haven't, make sure you get in. We'll probably be doing the draw. It's currently July 13th. We'll do the draw on the 20th. So one week to enter. Um, so this hand really hinges on Spectral Sailor. Living. Okay, so this is Dinosaurs. It's probably a tough matchup. So I'm going to flash in the Sailor. Uh, 
Also, apologize in advance if you hear a bit of background noise. I'm getting some windows replaced downstairs. So he should be at the stage without drilling, but in case you hear anything crazy. Um, I'm going to winged words here because next turn we could favorable winds and fairy. Healer Hawk would have been good on turn one, two, just to gain us some, like offset some life loss. They can play a four drop this turn. Like Ripjaw Raptor is pretty bad. Uh, they ramp there, hit us for four. It's a neat interaction. The Marauding Raptor is really giving dinos a breath. They get their double red as well, so charging Montador is a thing next turn. Yeah, we're probably not winning this race. Hmm. We'll play a couple more turns just to see how big they go. They have the shock. If they have the shock, we're going to concede. Seems like they do. Yeah. We're too far behind here. They have access to effectively six mana. Alright, in this matchup, Drakes are good. Actually, Drakes aren't that good because they'll have Trample. Seal aways, Tribunals, Teferis. Um, spell Pierce we can get rid of. Rally we can get rid of. Do we think we'll get four out? Probably. Cut down just the fairy miscreants. Probably go like that. Or play two of these. Go down to winged words. We'll run it like that. We'll need to hit our top end. Might have been made sense to cut down one of our uh, Safaras because we've cut down the number of flyers we have. Uh, try this out. I'm keeping this on the base of Seal Away. Get rid of whatever early ramp they have. Or like a Marauding Raptor. Also, it's not impossible that just back to back these. Oh, that's sweet. So next turn we can seal away and Spectral Sailor. That's probably one of my favorite interactions from Dinos. I'm not going to block this. I'm gonna do this now so they don't get the ramp. So they hit us down to 12 here. We hit them back for five. Ah, that is. That is not good. They get a card draw off this. Sailor doesn't really do much. We're gonna have to Sailor f hit the Domri.
So we're taking another five. We need winged words into two one drops into Safara. Yeah, Dinos is tough. Like the stats, like they played three mana for Ripjaw Raptor, drew multiple cards. Uh, they'll get back the Marauding Raptor here. Or can get rid of the winds. No blocks here. Six mana. Uh, see what we get here. Okay, so we have Zafala for next turn. Let's see if they blow up Seal away. A lot of answers there. So we're priced into blocking here, so that way we can shock for Safara. It's basically free because of the Marauding Raptor. Wonder if time wipe in the sideboard would be reasonable against this. We'll see if we run into another dino deck. That might be something we want. Okay, so we don't need to shock ourselves, which is good. Well, forget what I said in the deck tech. Uh, apparently, we are going to cast our seven drops naturally on curve. Don't think that matters. We did. We did. All right, that was a tough one. Actually, settle the wreckage would be good. We'll play one more and then determine whether or not we need settle the wreckage. Dinos does seem to be popular. Because they're quick and they're big. It's one thing if you're just playing like dorky stuff, we could kind of tempo them out. But here they're putting pressure on us fairly quickly. That's not a hand we want to keep. I'll keep this. I'm going to put back... I think I'm going to put back Hang the Executioner here. Yeah, because this isn't unreasonable with the three to cast out. Just pass the turn here. So really want to land here. Obviously don't draw land here. Phoenix. I don't think Phoenix is a terrible matchup for us. If we can get like an anthem going, but we really need to hit something. 
Also not being able to interact with the Electromancer. Okay, well they didn't hit a Phoenix. That is the worst draw we could have had. They have a shock. We could have sacked the Storm Tamer, but we can't even get to two mana right now. Four to draw a card doesn't seem like the world. They're actually beating us on the race too. They chart here. Okay, so I'm gonna do this before attacks in case they have a shock. Wow. Crackle McDackles. Okay, so we lost that one. I still think that was a reasonable keep. Two one drops, two winged words. Uh, so Cerulean Drake's a house in this matchup. Seal aways, tribunals, cut down. I'm gonna get rid of all of them. Then Spell Pierce actually isn't that good in this matchup. Because it's just the cast that matters. Hanged Executioner's not bad. Gonna probably just drop the Miscreants. Actually, Rally, get rid of those. Yeah, just get rid of this gains. So the way I see it, this gains life. This protects. This draws us cards. Miscreants is probably just going to be a chump blocker in this matchup. Honestly, I'm wondering too if we want Restwing Falcon. It's a one-two for one white instead of miscreants. Like the budget one, we play two matches, multiple games, and a best of one, and never drew a second card off it. We've yet to draw uh, a lot of lions, but we'll try it out. Shock. Okay, so we got two answers for phoenixes. No Electromancer is a solid draw. And that's good. We can Drake and hold up Seal away next turn. Shock and response. Opponent was probably just reading a card. Unless they have a shock or an opt. Radical idea. They could have a lot. They probably brought in Lava Coil as well post board. Fry. Okay, well, and they're on a lot slower of a game this time around. We haven't really put them on any type of clock. We can block a phoenix this turn, so I'm not concerned. So we'll get this out in case they don't put it out. Because even if they played a phoenix, they wouldn't attack with it.
can't really do anything here. If we draw another land next turn, I'm gonna play... Okay, so they get a Phoenix. I should be able to bring it back with that much mana. Chart. Does I get him another Phoenix? Opt Shock. Otherwise, they've spent quite a bit of resources. So they'll get a phoenix back here. Mm, so the question is... I think we get rid of the drake. It's a faster clock. Spectral Sailor is great. Flash it in on end step, draw a card. Second Drake. Card draw. Favorable wins is nice. Just pass the turn. Now that we have something to do with our mana. Like if they don't play anything, we draw a card. I will double block the Crackling Drake just to get it off. Let's see what they come out with. They force our hand, we have to draw a card. Another Spectral Sailor. So I'll play out the Hanged Executioner. That's fine. The very least gives us another body and we'll Spectral Sailor on our end step. So even our like 7-7 seven, seven Angel, because Crackling Drakes can get pretty large. Like we could be pumping through with a couple of these Indestructibles. Okay, so they're going for the value as opposed to removal. See if they get another Phoenix here. They don't. 
brought in Spell Pierce, which is okay against us. Another favorable wins. This gets us out of shock range, which is nice. Draw a card. Twenty nine cards in their library. Again, force our hand. Sweets. Winged's words will be a nice way to refill. Hopefully hit another Cerulean Drake. Or like a favored wind, something like that. So, same plan. Spectral Sailor, draw a card. <laughs> Their crackling drakes are almost big enough to one-shot us. The executioner. Last turn. We can start exiling their drakes. I'm just going to do this now so it can allow us to start attacking in. Awesome. Opponent's seen enough. We had 24 power. They block a bit of that. Um, hmm. So I think we run it back. I actually think we get rid of these fairies. Bring into fairy. Let's us reset their drakes. Also, if it turns off Finale, because they can't cast it. So how Finale works is they get cast at instant speed, but your sorceries can't be cast. Um, eh, try it out. The entire theme of this is, let's try it out. Let's see what works, let's see what doesn't. They opt. No Electromancer. It's actually pretty good because we can Spectral Sailor and then play Eagle next turn. 
interesting. They're dumping a phoenix. This card's very good. All right, so no more lands, please. That's a good start. So Drake stones walls us for a turn, but if we can keep drawing like this, we'll be in a good spot. I think that's fair. The card advantage it poses. I think we need to race. They've used two fries already. Two fries and a shock. Shock doesn't do it anymore. They need multiples. We're not going to block. Would have been nice if we could have kept one more eagle out so that our one mana dorks. I think they're going to try to finale here. Teferi would be good. Finale does fry. Oh, just another Drake. They're taking their time. No blocks here. Drawn too many lands. Anytime you draw more lands and spells in your aggro deck, you're probably not in a good spot. Yeah, I think that's game. That's probably game. All right, best of one time. Come on. Play a best of one match. Um, yeah, keep it. And just start jamming some favorable wins. I'd like to keep a protection. For the hanged executioner, because that's going to be a removal. 
against Feather. Uh, put a one counter on it, gains first strike, you gain two life. Let's just be mana efficient. Ah, they're playing Wizards Lightning? Since when? Okay, well, that's not something we play around normally. I don't recall if this... This is just like... Um, pass turn. Try to use Rally to ambush them. I th like, I don't think Feather normally... Oh, this is Red White Angels. If it's red, it gets tramples. Let's see how they attack in. What do you? Okay, so you mentor there. Ah, uh, no, 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 I didn't flash in Spectral Sailor. I screwed that up. Okay, you know, let's just... That one's my mistake. I played that poorly. I was half thinking about something else as I clicked through there. Let's play one more, just to get you a better feel. That was my error. Um, let's try this out. We learn as we play. Um, just play out wins, spell pierce, sweet, this could be the flash deck. Simic Flash, this could be mono blue, it's mono blue. All right, opponent concedes. All right, so that's pretty much the deck. So I'll do the write-up on Reddit now. So let me know what you think, uh, if you've had any other variations of the deck that you've liked, uh, and we can chat from there. If you haven't done so already, if you can hit that subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching and have a great one.